Hey everyone, this is my Patreon Pod reaction to the 96th episode of Uchu Kyodai, Space Brothers. And last episode, we learned a lot more about our friendly female party member. And got basically, yeah, got a lot into our backstory, and it was some pretty tragic stuff for sure. And we also, I think, showed off some new equipment that comes in handy because it like moves things out of the way or something, so that's cool too. I mean, I don't remember the last episode in that much detail because it's been a a little bit since I've seen the last episode because it's been difficult to get videos out because of various things, but I'm back into it now. So let's just get into it. Three, two, one, play. Oh, that pretty dog will not stop us. Gotta keep moving forward. So what will we do today? Great baby names. I mean, you really need a book to give you an idea of that? <laughs> an easy name for Americans to pronounce. That shouldn't be that hard. Just keep it low on the syllables. Like Mako, that's pretty easy to pr pronounce. For an American. <clears throat> An Chung. I mean, An is easy to say. <laughs> I mean, yeah, why? <clears throat> Doesn't answer the question. An Kono Chan. Okay, I see. But I mean, yeah, Japanese names aren't that hard for an American to pronounce as long as you don't get into the crazy territory. Like, uh, I'm trying to think about a hard Japanese name that's off, off the top of my head, which is hard. Um, uh, Kageyoshi, you know, like if it's something like that, it's a little bit harder, but. As long as you keep it to one or two syllables, something, something like Mako, you know, it's not that hard. And now I'm trying to think, what is the hardest to pronounce Japanese name I've ever seen? I'm sure I've seen some really hard ones. I just can't think of any off the, off the top of my head. I mean, a lot of the hard to pronounce names I've seen in anime have just been like foreign sounding names, you know, not really Japanese names. Like a fantasy setting that tries to put together a really weird name. Like, you know, Hunter Hunter has a really hard to pronounce name in it, but it's not like a Japanese sounding name. But anyway, let's get back into it. Astronaut and father. Sounds like fun. <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. <laughs> okay, I guess you gotta keep yourself entertained somehow. <laughs> oh. Well, that looked nice. <laughs> so that was her masterpiece, huh? Fantastic. So this is what kids did before they had smartphones. So it's pretty precious. <laughs> Are we gonna name the baby on Sean? <laughs> oh, upcoming recital. Well, that sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, Fuka, why are you so adorable?
Yeah, things are a little bit different now. Still gotta do your best though. Can't can't give up on the dream. All right. Astronauts' opinions are the ones that matter. Gotcha. Let's check this out. Doesn't tell me a lot. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's kind of a need to know basis. Oh, yeah. And back to our group, huh? Does he still have that lizard? Because I saw the tail. Does he really still have the lizard and playing with it? Just why? I guess he needs someone to talk to in this group. And since you have a group of people that don't get along with others very well, I guess you take what you can get when it comes to friends. A dance. <laughs> a country dance. Okay. I'm sure that will be great. <laughs> she has that effect on people. That is, yeah, that's a straight up country dance. Okay. I look forward to seeing that. <laughs> I mean, you probably don't have to tell him twice. <laughs> Excellent, Muta, you got skills. Don't sound too eager. I believe he can do it. <laughs> Here we go with the country dance. Uh, people are staring, though. <laughs> Like, yo, Mukun, you want me to help you with your dance? Yeah, it's okay. Fair enough. See you later, Kenji. It was nice talking. For a few seconds. Bye-bye. I wish every anime could have the amazing montage music that Bo Shuri has. Because it makes montages so much better. Of course, the Texas license plate. Christmas bells? Oh, wow, yeah, we do have some lights going here. Very, very fancy. Very blinding. Wow, that's actually, yeah, that's a lot of lights. Wow, way more than I thought. And you're... Your classic Christmas reef. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get on their level. <laughs> the cute keychain. Has he always had that? I may have just not noticed before. Yeah, we did see that. I, I was wondering, wondering if that was the same one. 
Have like a surprise party thing or Guess not. It just kinda of felt like that was what it was building up to. But no, they're sleeping. <laughs> And once that's confirmed, we can go do something else. Yeah, they got some they got some in, indoor decorations. You can definitely feel the Christmas here. <laughs> they make like decorations out of a plate, <laughs> like a paper plate. Is that what that is? Is that a snowman angel? <laughs> I kind of look like one, which would be an interesting combo, an interesting chimera. Yeah, all these things that you weren't there for. Good job. Even got pine cones. A gingerbread man, I guess. Yeah, it's a difficult two things to balance. <laughs> They're gonna put a little astronaut decoration on there, that's cool. Time always continues to march on. The worst thing about it. Meanwhile, are we going back to the country dance now? <laughs> yeah, there's some dancing. Oh, wow. Yeah, she looks great. I mean, that goes without saying. It's Sarika we're talking about, but just, yeah, she looks great. <laughs> I'm sure he's in a very good mood right now. Another assignment. Yo, what's up? <sighs> it better be important. Two weeks? Wow, we are getting close. No wonder we were looking into the name. OBGYN. I mean, that's always the hope. I was a C-section, personally. Ah. <laughs> Those sprinkles on the onigiri. What was that? <laughs> Another one for Fuka. I think An Anshan's a little young to be eating onigiri. Probably give it a few more months. You know, at least wait for it to come out. Or I guess we could just... Uh, not not going to go there, never mind. It's pretty loud in there. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah, there we go. Something to do. Now give us the specifics before we get too excited. Quick, quick, slow, huh? Yeah, Nama, don't ruin it. <laughs> I 
Best day he's had for a while. Holding the hands with Sarika, dancing. Just doesn't get much more happy than this. Although I'm sure he would want to do a bit of a different kind of quick, quick slow with her. But that's probably in the future. <laughs> two rookies, that's where you, you two come in. All right. Big number. But yeah, this definitely sounds like good news. You know, Kenji definitely could use this. <laughs> if only he had the, the white mustache and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely becoming more real now, with a real mission. <laughs> That's great news, yeah. Get to do something astronaut like. Yeah, can't get, can't tell too many people. <laughs> Not really how you're supposed to lay on a bed, Fuka. Are you okay? Is the baby, is the baby doing something? Is it coming out? Do we need to go to the hospital real quick? Uh, I guess the baby's excited about the news too. Oof. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should. Uh, yeah, maybe we should get going. <laughs> I guess big news comes in pairs. Yeah, she definitely looks like she's in pain, though. Hopefully nothing goes wrong here. Still have a few more minutes left, but yeah, we need to get, we need to get moving. Yeah, I'm sure she's more than happy to help with this. This is pretty important. Yeah, she's sleeping, so it shouldn't be that bad. Zoom. I mean, she doesn't have a lot of control over that, but yeah, do your best. You know, Yuki's also a fairly easy name to pronounce. Yeah. Hopefully she's all right. Yeah, just rub it, make it feel better, as you do. <laughs> I was wondering the same exact thing. I'm glad she said that, because I was just thinking, like, is that a thing that you do to comfort someone? Like, is that a thing? Because I don't know. It doesn't feel that that great. It doesn't feel bad. But... I just don't know how much it would help. <laughs> I'll just play some anime opening songs for you. That make that makes anyone feel better. Oh, I think it may have come out. Did we miss the Did we miss the important parts? Is it already out? Yep, it already just came out that quickly. Wow, I I was under the impression childbirth took a bit more time than that, but. <laughs> There you go. She, she's out. And she looks healthy enough. Why were you even doing that? That is not safe. Thank you for risking breaking your neck for this. I'm not sure that's true, but... Because the mother most just kind of lays there. And does the pushing, I guess. So I don't know, I guess it's debatable. But anyway, the important thing is we got it to come out. Oh, I grabbed his finger. I imagine she can't put a lot of strength into it, but she's got it. Yeah, we never decided, and it's kind of, kind of have to decide that now. It 
so tiny. I think the tablet might be as big as she is. Yeah, those are usually the two places you would assume, but... It looked a little bit different in the visuals we saw, so... What exactly is the mission we're talking about? Bum, 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 bum. Oh. I guess that sounds like it could pretty, be pretty cool. I mean, I figured I saw that even an asteroid because that's the only other option beyond Moon and ISS. But yeah, checking out an ice asteroid would be pretty cool. Not as cool as going to Mars, that'd be the really cool thing. Mini Planet 314225AN41, and it has Anne just like the name. Yes, it has Anne just like the name. Wow, that's Fuka the Prophet. That's pretty cool. So we really, we really are going to call her Anne, huh? I guess you kind of have to after that. <laughs> it's just too perfect. But you gotta make sure you include all the numbers in the name. It's very important. <laughs> yes, even smaller than you. Like, I'm trying to go to sleep, Onei-chan. Leave me alone. Makabe on, yeah. It says it right there. So that's a kanji you went for for the name. I think that's a kanji for relax, I want to say. Like it's the on and on shin and stuff like that. I mean, it's on in a lot of words. But yeah, he, wow, a lot of important things happen in Kenty's life in one episode. It's pretty impressive. Got himself a mission. Got himself a new baby. <sighs> He's got a name for the baby that was literally perfect. I mean, part of me wanted him to name the baby after Muta, but this is probably a much better option than that, if I'm being honest. And most importantly, on. Americans can pronounce it. That's the most important thing. Because there is an American name that's kind of similar to that. That's like Anne. I think it's spelled an extra N, but it's, it's, you know, it's kind of similar. And, uh, yeah, we don't have any anything afterwards. Okay. So that was the 96th episode of Space Brothers. It's kind of funny. A lot of importance happened in this episode, but yeah, I don't feel like I have a whole lot to say about it, if that makes sense. Because, well, the episode, the main thing was Kenji, right? The, astronaut, the title was something like Astronaut and Father because those are the two things that Kenji is. He tries to do both those things, balance those things out, which is not easy to do because the astronaut stuff kind of means he misses some, you know, father stuff. Because he made a big deal of like taking her to preschool being something he can actually do that is father like. So he really appreciate really, you know, treasures that. So that was a big part of the episode. I mean, there's also the thing with Muta and the dance and stuff. That was a bit of a subplot. And good for Muta. I'm pretty happy for him to experience that. Because he's an unlucky guy. Whenever he gets some happiness, it's it's good to see. And of course, the astronaut, the astronaut decoration was pretty cool. I got a new subscriber, Koten Bulover. Thank you for that. It's always appreciated. But anyway, Kenji. Kenji got his mission. Basically, to check out an asteroid, which is a pretty pretty big deal. Like, it's not as good as going to the moon, maybe. I, I mean, I guess it might be a bit debatable, but it's still a pretty big deal. 
So, something, something to be happy about. Finally getting, getting something to do. And not too long after he got the news and delivered it to his wife, you know, the mother of his child, the next child was ready to come out. So it's kind of funny how all that worked out timing-wise. And I was a little worried that something might be go might, might actually go wrong with the childbirth, but because he even mentioned something about natural childbirth in the episode, which got me a little bit worried. But no, everything went perfectly fine. So that's great. I don't know why he was rubbing the the eyebrow area. No clue. Does is that is that something that comforts him? I I don't know, but you know, I guess it's the thought that counts. And of course, he got the typical baby kind of grabbing onto the finger thing and. Yeah, it was very cute, precious stuff there, for sure. And then the biggest surprise is the name, yeah. 314225, then Anne, A-N, you know, on 41. Of course, not going to keep the numbers in her name. But, uh, yeah, one thing I'm curious about, well, it shows her name, it shows the child's name here, Makabe on, but... It does include Chan right there, but that's not like actually part of the name, is it? Like obviously Chan is an honorific, but it's on the actual thing though. So I'm not sure that's really supposed to be part of her name or not. Uh because that'd be a little bit weird for friends to call her on Chan Chan. Like I don't know. If that's if they really included Chan as part of the name, that's pretty funny. I I don't know, it's a little bit weird though. But uh yeah. I guess we just had a because it is what she said, Anchan, so I guess that's just her name now. So, and yeah, we had a lot of, we had a decent amount of Fuka cuteness in general in the episode, which was great to see. Just, she just, almost every scene she was in, she definitely came across as happy and excited and enthusiastic, so it was always fun to watch her scenes. You know, we even got to go to this to preschool that she goes to and hear the teacher or whatever say good morning in English because we're in America, so of course they would. They would do that. Although, whenever that happens, it always takes me out a little bit because, you know, we have all these American characters still speaking Japanese, and you just have to use your imagination to imagine they're just speaking English all the time. But that becomes a bit harder to do when you have them say random English. It just kind of it really messes me up, you know? They'll just do that quick random English, like good morning or whatever, then just switch immediately back into Japanese. It throws me off. It throws me off so much. We actually didn't get much of Muta's misfit group this episode, which is kind of nice to have a bit of a break from them. And just so many lights. I don't know why I can't find that stupid preschool scene as I'm skimming through this. It's a little bit frustrating. But it doesn't matter that much. But Kenji, he's got a mission. and I, he's, He made progress on basically both fronts. On the astronaut front, he's got a mission to do. That's pretty cool. And on the father front, he has a new child, so... Very, very happy, successful episode for Kenji. I'm pretty happy for him because I have, I did feel pretty bad for Kenji when he kind of failed to get what Muta got after the Nemo thing. But now things looking up for him and uh, I'm really happy for him because Kenji's a really cool guy. He deserves to have good things happen to him. So it's great. Good. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.